Hey guys, Ben Nash from Pivot Wealth here, and today I'm talking about a common money mistake that I see, which is looking at financial choices in isolation instead of looking at them as part of your broader financial strategy. Now, this is something that I see quite a lot when people go to look at, uh, maybe say it's making an investment or buying a property or doing something with their tax or paying down debt, and they, they go to and say, should I do this? Or is this a good investment? Or is that a good property? And the, the, the answer really uh, is that it can be for some people and for other people it won't. Whether a choice is good for you really depends on you. It depends on where you're at now, how your situation's going to change over time and what's important to you. But broadly, what that means is that what the, the real important thing is how the decision fits with your broader strategy. Now I've seen people that have run into some problems with great investments. They purchase a great investment, but it's wrong for them, it's wrong for their plan, and they can end up losing money as a result. So I think the key to making sure that you're making the right choices, that you're making the right decisions and the right moves with your money, is to know that the choices that you're making fit in with your broader plan. So instead of looking at something in isolation and saying, is this a good investment? What you should be saying is, is this a good investment for me and the strategy or the plan or the pathway that I want to follow going forward? If you do that, you're going to be well placed to make sure that the, the choices that you're making, that they're going to fit with all the other things that you want to do. And also that you're not going to be running into any, uh, any unexpected surprises or mistakes or anything that can slow you down or hold you back. Hope this helps guys.